I'm a nasty woman. She's a nasty <laughs> woman, everybody. Hello and welcome back to yet another edition of teaching my wife to play awesome guitar riffs that are pretty easy. Last time I taught her a Green Day riff, which you all apparently enjoyed watching, so here we are again learning the first Nirvana riff that every guitar player learns. What do you think it is, Bethany? The only one I don't know. This is an important point. She doesn't really know this riff. I know this song, but I'm not familiar with the rhythm and the riff in general. You can't really sing it in your head is what you're no. saying. And normally that's what I like to show her is songs that she knows because she's kind of a beginner, so it's helpful to know the song. But that is why I'm showing you this riff. The power of this riff is in its simplicity and in its catchiness. I'm scared. We're gonna need some guitar effects before we get started. Okay, for this riff, we need a very specific effect called chorus. So I want you to look and see if you can find a chorus pedal in this display. Chorus. 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 There should be one. Just one? I mean, there's multiple chorus pedals, but there's definitely one. They're all arranged by style of effect. Chorus. Does it say chorus on it? Yes. <laughs> this is just a mean trick. It's not even a trick. Why am I making you choose? Chorus. Why am I even making you choose? Why can't I just pick the pedal up for you? I don't know, because you like... You're a... I'm torturing you. You're a masochist. Find the chorus pedal. You can do this. Chorus. Am I hot or cold? You're hot. Hot? Hot! <laughs> so this is my pedal board. I have a chorus pedal right here. And also we're going to be using some reverb. I gave you a reverb pedal already. We're going to have you assemble your very first pedal board. So go ahead and put that pedal down there. And push on it. It's got this really crazy locking push. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so you may have gotten that pedal a little too close to the other one because they have to plug in to the sides, so. Like that? Yeah, but you see that thing right there, that cable? Yeah. Plug that into the chorus where it says output A. There you go, now shove it down. Perfect. Input. That's your guitar cable. And it has a this battery one? in it, but I like to use a nine volt. There you go. You're a pro. All right, now that we have our guitar pedals set up and ready to go, our chorus effect, we need what? A guitar. Let's both get one, shall we? <laughs> yes, beautiful, beautiful. Wow, how do you do that? Uh, it's a talent that I've <laughs> developed over many years. Here's your pick. It's pink, just like your fingernails. Stop. Although, I don't know what color those are now that I see that pink pick. I know. So that's your regular sound. Now, step on that chorus pedal. Uh, you getting the vibe? Yeah. <laughs> she likes the chorus. That is the first note of our riff. If you haven't guessed it by now, Come As You Are by Nirvana. Let's hear how it goes, shall we? What do you think? Sounds difficult to me. You say that at the beginning of all these videos and then by the end you're ripping it. Knock on wood. We're gonna take this in bits and pieces, okay? Great. Okay. One, two, three, four. So the first one is an open chord? The first two are. Oh, okay. So open string. Open string. Yeah. So, now what's next? I can't see your hands really. First fret, second fret. Look at that. Am I holding can... the pick right? Well, how do you hold the pick? Well, this is an interesting. Because people were saying I was holding the pick wrong. Well, so some people might think that you want to hold the pick like this. Mm -hmm. 
and then that will kind of mess up the way you so you're stroke. supposed to be like so, this yeah so you want to put your it, it sort of wants to be an extension of your index finger mm -hmm. like this so it's like a 90 degree angle with your thumb and index finger so this is gonna come like that nestle it in there so it's comfortable like that yeah i mean adjust mm -hmm. it how you like it all right that looks better. Yeah. Relax your fretting hand as much as you can. Not have my pinky out like this? You don't have to be <laughs> ah, like freaking out. You can just okay. make it real loose. Yeah. And you can even hold your index finger on there so you don't have to like pull your fingers away from the fretboard. What do you mean? What you're doing right now is... But what I would recommend is okay. see how my fingers hardly moving yeah much more relaxed we're gonna hold that finger there for this next part Do that again. Mm -hmm. now let's try and put those two together piece is going to be so basically a reverse of the first thing remember we started with this part is actually added in an extra note. Yeah. Is that right? That's right. Oh, getting a little speedy there. <laughs> Last thing. We're not done? I thought that was it. <laughs> no, no. Well, this is it. Crap, okay. Do it again. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing right there? It's the same shape, you're just on this string now. Instead of, we're going. So, let me put it in context. I, I have to do it because mm -hmm. I learn best by doing, yes. not watching. Go. As does everybody. <laughs> okay. Now I'm getting confused. <laughs> hey, listen to it again. not in the song. Yeah. <laughs> 
it is something that had to be practiced. I thought you did really good for just a short session. You you got it. It's just if I made you practice it for a week and then we came back. But this gave you a little glimpse into the struggles of learning a guitar, which I think everybody should feel. In I can one way. see how it gets frustrating. Yes. And how you probably feel like you want to quit. Yes. But you shouldn't.